Hi guys. Uh, okay, this is an update on uh, the same uh, project. The uh, Tesla coils system and uh, I wanted to show you a couple of things first before uh, I start testing and uh, it's about uh, the uh, distance here is still 8 millimeter and uh, I'm gonna start first with only L1 and L2 and L3 to show uh, how is the uh, tune-up is done and uh, I wanted also to mention that uh, I put only one heater a defroster heater here uh, which is rated to 725 watt and um, I'm putting the lead of uh, for for the uh, temperature on the on the heater directly here. The capacitor value is still the same, 30 uh, nanofarad, and uh, I decided to put only one camera so you see the the power supply all the time. Uh, there is no gimmick. And also, uh, I wanted to mention also about the uh, uh, the uh, clamp for the uh, amps for the ammeter. The clamp have an arrow here. Usually, uh, uh, Evo uh, put the uh, um, the direction of the arrow uh, toward the coil. In this case, it's uh, coil four. But uh, during this video, I'm gonna show you a couple of things that uh, I discovered that's really uh, a bit weird, <clears throat> and you will see what I mean. Anyway, we'll see. We we'll leave it as is now, which is toward uh, the, the load. <clears throat> the arrow is toward the, the load. And I will explain uh, why later. Now, first, we're gonna do the uh, tune up for the for the TEM uh, mode and also for the uh, LMD mode. And uh, we'll start with. Uh, the TM mode and we'll see how it goes there's two fans here on directly on the dies and on the cart in addition to uh, to the fans directly on the uh, MOSFETs just to, to be sure that's uh, well cooled ok now we are going to do the uh, TEM mode I removed the L4 so it doesn't affect anything and uh, my TEM mode uh, start and on uh, 52 kilohertz. So I'm gonna start you will see the uh, the shot of the scope. And as you see now This is about it. This is the uh, the highest uh, voltage here, and this is the resonance at this uh, 
mode the GM. I'm gonna take off the L3 and L4 for now. We don't need them. And the power as well. And as we see, is the uh, they are in phase. If I go to L1, that's L1. You see, they are in phase. Okay, so that's uh, the uh, TAM mode. Now I'm gonna go to uh, to the LMD mode. I'm just gonna stop it first. And I'm gonna put the uh, the L4. I'm gonna also put uh, the uh, stopwatch. to calculate how much time it takes to go to uh, 90 degrees Celsius and we start now LMD mode so we're gonna go full power and we're gonna recall And we go to 108, which is uh, you would see is the resonance there. Uh, and start to heat. We don't need the, the LC for now. So as you see, the voltage and the uh, and the L1, the L4 and L1 are 180 degree uh, apart. And as you see, right now we have 500 watt peak to peak and 120 volt RMS. This is the pink, that's the voltage of the L4. And the current we have is uh, 4.8 amp peak to peak and 1.6 amp 1.6 amp is we already on 90 degree in two minutes 93 degrees so uh, the uh, power we have I mean the uh, the uh, power we have, yes, uh, is, let me show you something here. You see, because the voltage and current are not perfectly in phase, there is some difference. And that's why the power is reduced to only uh, 200 pa uh, watt, which is 120 volt. Uh, multiply by 1.6 uh, amp if imagine if these two in phase the green and the pink which is the voltage and the current we would have one kilowatt peak to peak which is about maybe 500 uh, not 500 400 watt maybe anyway 
the uh, what I want to also show you is the direction of the uh, clamp. I'm going to take off my watch and I'm going to show you the difference between the, the clamp this way, the direction. Right now it's toward the load, but Evo always put the direction of the the clamp toward the coil to L4. You see how the uh, current value went down to 2.56 amp instead of 5 amp. This I'm not sure why. I have no idea. The value of the uh, the current should be remain the same only in the phase shift yes this should be uh, changed when the direction of uh, because the, there is a coil inside of here and it's only direction of the, the field uh, it should not matter at all if it's uh, this way or this way but I think it's because the nature of the displacement current the arrow should be toward the, the load somehow the current is not only inside the wire it's around the wire somehow now the degrees are already 126 it's uh, too much I think I'm gonna stop that but I wanted, to, before I stop that, I want to show you the different uh, frequency. Uh, you see, this is out of resonance now, if I go more and more. So I was mistaking last video saying that uh, the best uh, power I have is in the TM mode, it's not it's in the LMD which is suited for the pulse uh, electricity exactly and uh, just want to be sure that I have it in the right direction yeah and right there and then I want to go lower to show you that's, uh, that's the thing that we're talking about. And if I go lower, you see, we go out of the, uh, the LMD. So the resonance is right here. So this is a 107, uh, 106, 107. I wanted this frequency to be much uh, much higher. I stopped it because it's uh, it's too much now. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to, make, uh, to to do the LMD frequency much higher than this, so we have more power. But I don't know really how to do it yet. Uh, maybe the capacitor value, so the resonance will be in a different level. And uh, also the distance between the two coils, the L3 and L2, uh, uh, maybe should be reduced. If it increase, it will reduce the consumption, but it would reduce also the uh, power. So probably that's why uh, Evo is using the epoxy because the K factor in the epoxy uh, increase even though he's using 15 which is almost double what I have now but he have a higher frequency on the LMD mode uh, which I would like to do maybe I should put that in resin like he did but uh, that's what I have right now I'm gonna put the uh, the drawing of the circuit uh, at the end of the video as promised 
somebody was asking about that. It's an uh, evil uh, design anyway. And uh, I just changed a couple of things, that's all for my setup. And uh, yeah, let's go uh, evil. <laughs> I see uh, a potential here, 50, well, not 50. If you go back, this is a 70, 0.70 uh, amp multiplied by 62, uh, 64 uh, volt. That means uh, 45 watt an output of 200 watt that's four time and a half uh, more and that's real power I see it as a free energy right there now uh, can this be improved definitely yes for sure capacitor coils bigger coils maybe bigger uh, power supply that's another subject but yeah, the main issue, the main uh, purpose is, is here, it is real and it is doing the job and the four and a half is real, if you guys uh, don't see that, please comment, please share the video, please subscribe if you're not, to see the new uh, video and update and uh, uh, thank you for watching.